you don't come to Taco Bell to eat healthy food. Did you know that Taco Bell has a healthy diet eating menu? Yes, I did. And you still choose to eat from the regular menu? Yep. Same. Interesting. I do believe that it's very apparent that modern teenagers eat a vast variety of things daily. However, I don't believe that the general public realizes the effects that eating habits can have on the young bodies of developing adolescents. I wanted to find out what exactly are my peers eating and what their thoughts are on their eating habits. So I decided to get the inside point of view of some of the students that go to my school. What do you like to eat? Uh, basically anything. If it tastes good, I'll eat it. Everything. Anything that I want. Anything that's in my refrigerator. I guess it basically depends on where I am at the time, whom I'm with, and what I'm doing. So, like, if I'm with my family, I would probably like, you know, a meal with, you know, more courses. But my favorite food is something unhealthy. I like fried chicken. Yeah. I like to eat a lot of different foods, I guess. I like to eat chips and candy and... Um, I guess sometimes something healthy. Um, I like fruit a lot. Yeah, I like eating a lot of fruit and vegetables. And I like bread a lot. Like fresh fruit or like a fruit ice cream? Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. No gummy bears? I love gummy bears. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you see, teenagers usually don't give much thought to what they eat daily. Most teenagers don't even realize that they skip out on important meals of the day. For example, breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Breakfast benefits the body in so many different ways. It gives the body more weight control and it gets the body prepared for the day. Do you eat breakfast? Yes. Not usually. Um, no. I do. When I have time. Sometimes. As you can see, not many teenagers eat breakfast daily. The most frequent excuse for not eating breakfast every morning is that one simply does not have time. However, a select few eat breakfast somewhat frequently enough to gain some nutrition, but the concern is what they eat for breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast? Um, I eat cereal. Um, <clears throat> Sweet and cereal? Uh, yeah. Usually just like toast. Usually honey bunches of oats or any other cereal or a bagel or toast or yeah, any of those things. If I have time, I'll normally eat whatever the school is serving, <clears throat> trash, so <laughs> most likely, um, you know, some cereal or maybe a bagel, but I don't eat it frequently enough to say I eat breakfast every day. From the looks of it, teenagers don't have as much of a variety in the morning diet as they do later in the day. The morning menu is usually narrowed down to a few quick snacks, such as cereal, a bagel, or toast. The most commonly eaten cereals are sweetened cereals, and most toast is made from white bread. Even though some teens are eating breakfast, they aren't necessarily eating a healthy breakfast, with fruits and vitamins. A healthier breakfast will give the brain more alert thinking and concentration throughout the day. Because a vast number of teens don't eat breakfast, they often develop an appetite before the school's scheduled lunchtime. Around second period is when students' stomachs begin to growl. They lose much focus in class because all they can think about is how hungry they are. During class, students may bring snacks from home to eat throughout the day. These snacks can often be categorized as junk foods because they are commonly chips, candy, and or soda. Do you drink soda or pop? Yes. How often? About every day. Do you guys eat a lot of junk food? Sometimes. Yeah, it depends when, really. I probably eat more than I should. What's your favorite junk food? Uh, hot Cheetos. Oh, those are good. Chocolate chip cookies. Ice cream. Gummy bears. I don't really have a favorite. I'll just eat anything, literally. Um, chocolate, I guess. Do you eat a lot of chocolate stuff? Yes. And it doesn't cross your mind about the calories or the carbs yeah. in it? Favorite junk food? Mm, it varies between chips, cakes, candies, pop, you know, the use. <laughs> okay, how often do you eat that type of stuff? I would say twice a week. When I get a chance to go to the store, which is occasionally, I would say. Not very often. Yeah, like once every two weeks. 
probably every day. Um, when I get out of school, the first thing on my mind is what's in the refrigerator and how fast I can eat it. There are many fast food places that are in the local area of my school, such as McDonald's, Big B Coffee, Jet's Pizza, Adobe, Arby's, Jimmy John's, and more. A theory could be that students are so hungry at this point of the day that they would much rather eat the fast food rather than eat the school's lunch, which is in favor by many students. What do you think about the school's lunch? I think it's gross and nasty and I feel like all of it is fake, like it's not real. <laughs> Honestly, I would prefer not to eat it. Okay, well personally, I'm not a fan of the school's lunch. It's basically because, you know, it's very, very poorly cooked. Sometimes it's either overcooked or undercooked. You know, it's never right. The school's lunch is disgusting. It just don't taste right. My stomach be hurting after I eat it. <laughs> I think the school's lunch is disgusting. Uh, food's highly processed and always frozen. School lunches aren't baked anymore. Um, would you rather eat from the fast food places up the street rather than eat the lunch here? Of course. Yeah, sadly. Uh, yeah, most definitely. When the bell rings that releases students to lunch, students are relieved from the stress of the classroom, and they are well prepared to eat something delicious. As you can see, students would much rather eat from the fast food places. These restaurants are within arm's reach of the school. Some students walk, some students drive, whatever means it takes to get there. These restaurants are of easy access to the students, so they see it as, why not eat the better tasting food? Because so many students leave to eat at other places during lunch, the cafeteria is often close to empty. Only near the end of lunchtime is when the cafeteria begins to fill up because students are returning to the school with food from a variety of restaurants. Even though teenagers may have careless eating habits, quite a few of them play sports and are aware of the effects their eating habits can have on their performance when playing sports. Which sports do you play? Um, I play basketball and track. I swim and play tennis. Basketball. Soccer. Soccer. What effect does the sports have on what you choose to eat? Um, if I eat health, like if I eat junk food, it can slow me down. Or if I eat like healthy food, you know, it gives me energy. If I eat bad things and I play bad, or I eat too much before a game or practice, then I'm slower. Well, when you play sports, you usually have like a different diet, and you try to just stay with carbs and foods that are easier to burn. You can feel when you're swimming if you eat something unhealthy, I guess. You see, teenagers aren't completely ignorant to the fact that their eating habits may be unhealthy, but the problem settles in the fact that they simply do not care. I was really interested in getting self-reflection on eating habits from my fellow students. What do you think about like your peers' eating habits? Do you feel like they're healthy, unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Unhealthy? Generally, they're unhealthy. I think some kids just don't have structure at home, like they just eat whatever they want and what they want is junk food. Some of my peers eat healthy because they just so happen to be athletes. The majority is very unhealthy. As teenagers, I don't think that we really pay that much attention unless we have some sort of general idea of what we want our bodies to look like. As you can see, many people don't know that an overweight population is emerging, but when the topic is addressed, these teens are very opinionated. It could be said that if teens are more informed about the effects that their eating habits could have on their appearance and more importantly their health, the stats would go down. Why do you eat junk food? Because it's good. It's convenient and delicious. Because it's good, it has a lot of flavor. It seems that a lot of teenagers have their mindset on what they like to eat. They believe that consuming vast amounts of junk food isn't harmful to the body because the effects are not immediate. If teens were more informed about the harms that junk food could do to their body, it's more likely that they would take more caution in their nutrition consumption. Think about it.